In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and pack away this Ozark Trail instant cabin tent. Before we set up this tent, this is what it looks like out of the carry bag, and this is what it'll look like when you first try to unfold the tent and lay it flat on the ground. Basically, it's just this square shape at first, but we still need to unfold it more. So just go to each corner of that square. There should be a foldable pole in each corner, and just use that pole to unfold the tent. One tip I have for you here is that it doesn't exactly have to be flat on the ground and I would recommend just unfolding it gently and not forcing the poles into place, especially at this last corner here. Also, once it's fully unfolded, you can see the single door of the tent here, so use that to position the tent in whichever way you prefer. Now pick the tent up using one of the elbow joints, which is this joint here with this covering. Then gently extend the telescoping pole into place. Again, don't force the poles, do it gently, and if it can't seem to extend as much as it should, I highly recommend just lifting the elbow joints higher, and this will help with the extension exactly like what I did here. When the pole is fully extended, you should hear it actually clicking into place and this red button here on the pole will pop out. Now I do the same thing with the second pole and remember to lift the joint up first before trying to extend the poles. If it doesn't seem to extend any further, you can also try to lift the other joints up to help extend this pole into place. The third and fourth pole extensions are much easier to do. I'll show you clips on the screen right here. Now that all the poles are fully extended, just spread the tent body out nicely, and now we're gonna drape the ring fly over the tent. So here's the ring fly. I usually grab one of the corners of the ring fly first, and then I slide that corner over one of the corners of the tent. Then without letting go of that corner of the ring fly, I just walk around the tent and drag the entire ring fly along with me. Then slide the ring fly around over the top of the tent until you get it in the right position. To secure the ring fly to the tent, each of the four corners of the ring fly have this shock cord hook, which you're supposed to attach onto the fabric loop of the tent body. Let me remove the hook and show you a close up of what the fabric hook looks like, which is basically this. Now let me redo the rainfly loop to the tent loop, and here's what it looks like in a far away shot so you can roughly tell where the hooks are on the tent, which is somewhere around the middle. When you're done setting up the rainfly, this is what it should look like. The plastic skylight of the rainfly should be at the front of the tent, and so is the logo right here at the front as well. The other plastic skylight should be at the back of the tent, and the sides don't have the same skylight. Underneath the rainfly, there are also four of these velcro strips, one for each corner of the tent, and these are to be secured onto the nearest poles of the tent, so just go ahead and do that as well. Now make sure that the door is all zipped up, and then go ahead and stake the entire tent base out, one stake for each corner of the tent. And here's a close-up shot of what one of the stake loops would look like when the stakes are in it. After that, undo these guy lines that come pre-attached onto the tent. There's one at each corner as well, and then guy out the entire tent with another four stakes. Here's what one of the guy lines looks like, and there's a tensioner on each guy line too, so you can easily adjust the tension of the guy line. And finally, we've got one last stake, and that's for the ground vent at the back of the tent. And with that, the Ozark Trail Instant Cabin Tent is fully set up. Now to pack away this tent, the first thing to do is to remove the guy lines, the velcro under the rainfly, the rainfly hooks from the tent loops, and then just pull the rainfly off. After that, just keep folding the rainfly in half while tucking all the guy lines and rainfly hooks in nicely, then put it aside for now. After that, just press on each of the red locking buttons on the poles and then slide the pole down to compress it down. Again, be gentle, don't compress it more than it can at each time. Go around the entire tent, press on each of the locking buttons and compress the poles down at the same time. Here's what the tent will look like when it's back to being flat on the ground again. After that, remove the stakes from the tent body, pick up each corner of the tent and thanks to the elbow joints of this tent, we can then fold each of the poles inwards like this. Once you're done with the first folding, your tent will be back to the original square shape that I showed you at the beginning of this video. 
Next, pick up each of the four corners of this square and fold all the poles together in a bunch. With all the poles all together at the center, place it on the ground horizontally, like this. Here's a close-up shot of what it should look like. The elbow joints of the poles will be all together in a bunch at one end, so four of them all together like this, and then the center hub holding all the poles together will be at the other end. After that, just roll the rest of the tent fabric together while gently pushing out air, and it helps to compress everything down before storing it away. There are these straps that you can use to tie the tent fabric up. I wish they were compression straps instead, because that would be a lot more user-friendly. After that, place the tent back into the carry bag and grip it between your legs as tightly as possible while trying to zip up the bulky part of the tent. The less bulky part of the tent, where the center hub is, has a lot more space, so that's where I fit the folded up rain fly, the gear loft, the pocket organizer, and all the stakes. This part is a lot easier to zip up, so just do that and voila, you're done with the packway. For a full review of this Ozark Trail six person instant cabin tent, including not just this setup and packaway, do check out this video on the screen here. Thank you for watching this, I hope you found it helpful, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.